Hi everybody, welcome to day 18 of the Brewvent 2020 Beer Review Calendars. I'm Don and this is our birthday girl. Kelly. Happy birthday baby. Thank you. Uh, what do we got today, love? Um, well, I did put a smiley face on it because it's my birthday. Nice. I didn't know which camera to do that to. <laughs> All right, I love it. It's your birthday and you're giving me gifts. Yeah. Oh, we have all three cats in here. All three cats that you can't see. <laughs> have fun. Oh, okay. Uncanny Valley New England India Pale Ale. I love this can. It's really very cool. What's the brewery? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Uncanny Valley, it is by... Um, <laughs> Burlington Beer Company. Yeah, the type is that tiny and it's in gold. But what a great looking can, huh? It's That's really, really nice cool. Design. Um, so what are we drinking this out of tonight? Let's um, try. What's, what's good for an IPA? An IPA would be if you guys knock over the camera. Pint glass. He's gonna be very upset. Oh yes. Okay. Alright. How's that looking? Looking very pretty. Oh, is that yeah. ever hazy? Yep, super hazy. Yeah, there we boy. go. I was about to do that. Beautiful hazy. Yeah, that looks mm -hmm. like grapefruit juice. And frankly, from here, it smells like grapefruit juice. Do you want to try it first, birthday girl? Thank you. Mm. I hope it's not uncanny valley in the way that that means for humans and robots, because then it would be a simulation of a beer that's uncomfortably close to beer. Let's try it. What are your thoughts, my dove? Off bat, this is very tasty. <laughs> this is really good. This is really good. <laughs> we've been, not with fingers crossed, we've been really lucky with the IPAs yes. we've chosen this year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, the, the, the haziness, it's, mm. uh, it's a very unfiltered, very smooth. Um, it's got some uh, grapefruit kind of uh, overtones to it but super smooth and gentle, almost like a, a grapefruit creamsicle. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, it felt like maybe they added orange in as well. Because orange. they don't just have the bite of the grapefruit. But also it's the, the creaminess of it. Oh, for sure. It's just lovely. There's no there's no bite. It's, it's, it's flavor without the bite. Um, try it again. Oh, if I must. <laughs> And you said creamsicle, the colors really call it to it. Um, put me in mind of the creamsicle as well. Yeah. Because it's a beautiful, bright white head on top of that luscious, hazy, kind of citrusy gold. Absolutely wonderful texture to the head. Mm -hmm. um, you see it clinging to the glass yeah. like that. It's it's really just a, a really determined head. <laughs> um, so this is this is knocking me out. I'm yeah, loving real. this. What else are you thinking until you, unless you want to rate it? Um, I, I think we should rate it, but it's my birthday, so I don't want the pressure of having to go first. <laughs> that could be All right. a gift to me. You know, this, you're going to think I'm crazy because it is a, a classic IPA, this New England IPA. I'm going, I'm going full eight. I don't think you're crazy at all yeah. because that's why I didn't want to go first because yeah. I was going to give it an eight. Uh, eight out of eight reindeers on this. Uh, yeah. This is some, I'm going to look for this. And we're going to look for more from this brewery as well. I haven't even heard of the brewery before. Yeah. And this is just absolutely poof, delightful. Yes, um, indeed. So uh, I'm going to find out more about the brewery and we'll post that as we go along as usual. But in the meantime, I want you all to take a deep breath and on the count of three, yell at your computers, happy birthday, Kelly. One, two, three. Aw, thank you. You guys are the best. Uh, hey, until we meet again. Cheers.